Hey guys, Nabil here, and it seems with every new week, we have a supposed brand new leak regarding the King of Fighters 15. Now again, a leak, again, is, is a big word, because these, most of them, probably all of them, you know, are, are fake, right? But we're still gonna go through them, I guess it's fun to just, uh, you know, check out what these guys are saying. Now, I'm gonna give them this, is that these supposed fake leaks are getting better with every week. Now, they're, they're more believable than what we used to have in the beginning. So, we're gonna check the latest one that appeared last night on Reddit. But before we do that, I just wanna remind you that Neo Geo now has a goodies shop now where we do sell some t-shirts, hats, mugs, all inspired by the Neo Geo franchise and mainly the King of Fighters for now. So, check out my latest design, which actually is inspired by the Neo Geo AES Arcade Cabinet. Now, all these products do ship worldwide. Check the link in the description to check what we have available for now. And I promise you there'll be more designs coming your way to the Neo Geo Now shop in the next few days. And one last thing I wanna mention is please don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so and hit that bell button so that you are notified whenever a new video from yours truly is available now with that with that out of the way let's go ahead and check this latest leak so and just one last thing i want to say <coughs> before uh we get into that as you know sony is holding its own press conference this week two days from now and some people you know well some people a lot of people are hoping that we're gonna see the king of fighters 15 in there i am not sure i don't think it will happen but i still have some hope that we're getting a King of Fighters trailer in the next two weeks. We'll talk about that in another, another video, but now let's check this latest leak. I'm gonna go ahead here and talk about it and share it and see what, uh, oh, this is some cool art from Saltami. I love her art. So let's just put this here. All right, so this is the latest leak, the King of Fighters 15 information to be announced soon. Wow, you know, how soon? We've been hearing the word soon for quite a long time. Uh, so we're gonna go through it and, and then discuss this thing as it uh, as we go. So King of Fighters 15 will release a mini trailer at Tokyo Game Show September 26th after the presentation of Tencent. Tencent will present two games and then King of Fighters 15 mini trailer, 30 seconds. All right, a proper trailer that features the gameplay and some features will be updated on SNK's official YouTube page and Twitter page. Ten uh, tentatively on November or early December of this year. So what they're saying is that we're gonna get just a teaser without gameplay and then we'll have to wait until November, early December of this year to see the full trailer which is gonna be two minutes and in that same video we'll have an announcement of the game's availability next year around summer in time for EVO 2021. This plan had been held off Seems like Evo is not sure to go forward next year. Tentative plan. All right, let's talk. Let's talk about these two first points. So, apparently, we're gonna see the King of Fighters 15 after a 10 cent um, uh, presentation, and I'm not sure how 10 cent is actually, you know, related to SNK. Now I know they work with SNK, but they're not, you know, they're not. They don't own SNK, so why would they show the King of Fighters 15 trailer around the same time as 10 cent? It's a little bit. A little bit fishy but that's not the problem the problem is the second here the second point which says that the game is going to be released around evo 2021 i do not think so i think i think king of artists 15 is going to be at the end of 2021 maybe even 2022 because there's probably some delay with the coronavirus and we haven't seen anything i don't think they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna you know release the game next year without actually showing us nothing at this point so i don't think that's true i don't think that's true and then they're saying we're only getting a teaser not a trailer all right let's go to the next one the reason the delay of release is not because of production issues but because king of fighters 15 is going to be released with netcode delay on its release what the application of rollback netcode on king of fighters 2002 and god mark of the world experiment is experiment in order to adjust the system to have rollback upon its release well, first of all, the King of Fighters 2002 does not have rollback yet. We know they're working on something because I, if you saw on my previous video, it showed that the developers are actually working on the Steam version that, that there's going to be a beta apparently. And we don't know what it's going to be for, but it's probably for the rollback uh, netcode. Um, upon its release, someone showed that we'll have to wait for rollback, sadly, as it was created before rollback was implemented. What? 
a lot needs to be adjusted for rollback. It's easier to add rollback when you implement it from the start of development. The roster and the game mechanics had been finished way before EVO 2020. Now, the game mechanics and the roster are definitely finished by before EVO 2020, that's for sure. First of all, we didn't have any EVO 2020, but we did. I mean, they probably have everything figured out at least a few months ago. King of Artists 14 models had been transferred and modified for Unreal Engine, fixed portions, shading, UV wrapping, and facial structures for a more semi-realistic semi slash anime look. Is it semi-realistic or anime? Those are two different styles. Not sure how they're gonna stick together. Real work was to redo all the moveset because Mr. Oda thought the movement of the characters feel robotic. The rigging animation department did their best to make animations more fluid than, than before, especially the clothing animations. Don't be surprised that this game will have a large roster. They already, they already have the models, just needed to tweak it. They also revamped the moveset so most characters have the same button commands. It will still be chain charged on motion, motion input characters, but it's easier to learn characters now as they decided to group characters in archetypes such as charge zoning characters, motion input zoners, charge rushdown, motion input rushdown, grapplers, and defensive characters. Well, they've always done that, didn't they? Um, all right, it's just a lot of, of weird. Okay, so they're using. Uh, you know, like in the beginning, I was saying there's no way they're going to be using the same models of 14. But thinking about it and speaking to people who know about game development and, and, and game design, it actually makes sense to use, you know, to bring the models from 14 and actually, you know, revamp them with the new uh, with the new engine. They're not going to look like 14 at all, but they're going to use that, you know, think of it as the backbone, but then it's going to be remodeled uh, proper proportions. I mean, that's a given. I mean, look at Clark. In King of Fighters 14, he has his arms. Pretty much, he could scratch his ankles without bending. So that's that's gonna be fixed for sure. And even if this rumor is true, that's that's exactly what they're saying. All right, here's where it gets confusing. The art style is similar to Samurai Showdown. Remember that that sentence. Although the models for the King of Fighters 15 are taller in terms of scaling, the shading is completely different from Sam Show though, as the shading is more cell shaded and style of a manga coloring. Thought it was anime and semi realistic. Refer to a full colored manga cover for the coloring and shading style. If you compare it to Guilty Gear, Guilty Gear looks much smoother, while the style of shading of King, King of Fighters 15 had been applied with more texture. I have no idea what that means. But maybe, like, you know, just anime with some grains added to it? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. This tells me absolutely nothing. Um, all right, let's go to the next point. Uh, the game is three versus three as usual and will employ a new system, which would be called Yin Yang system as a nod to the main character of the saga, Shune and Kyo and Iori. Well, Shune, Yin Yang, yes, Kyo and Iori. All right. The first bar, which is the red bar, is the bar for EX moves, instant guard crush, power up mode, armor mode, and jungle combo mode. Probably will be called max mode. Okay, probably will be called max mode. Max five bars when you reach your final member. Of course, you need to be smart using this as all these modes use a full bar. Uh, EX moves use half a bar. Instant got crush mode is just used once for a full bar in armor. And juggle mode uses a full bar for a timed amount. The blue bar at the bottom is your desperation move. The first bar is activated on your first member. Two bars on your second member and third bar activated on your third member. This was designed as a comeback mechanic for your last character. The last character also will be able to use unlimited desperation moves on 10% health. You will know as the life bar blinks, so kind of similar to King of Fighters 94 and 95 and 96. All right. If you have a bar, you will be able to use an EX version of your desperation move, and if you have you have a full red bar and have your juggle mode activated, you will be able to use the cinematic desperation move. Dream cancel is back. One red bar, one blue bar, and a health and health down to 10%. Trust me, it's worth it. It's rare, but it's worth it. Okay. Yes, there would be cinematic desperation moves. The story mode are also now voiced cutscenes using the same models. The ending of each team are full anime. I know probably this is not true, but I would love to see this, man. I would hope just for this that this leak is real. The story of the King of Fighters 15 starts with the final scene of Team China beating Verse from King of Fighters 14 
in which Shune receives a new invitation that was delivered by a falcon. Um, well, he probably knows that by reading the King of Fighters a new beginning manga, which ended by a falcon delivering invitation to Shune. It is from the new boss of the game, Mizuki. Okay, yes, from Samurai Showdown. She was revived by Verse and brought to the present time the new boss of the game. All right, Mizuki is the ancestor of one of the members of the Hakeshu who, all, who were also revived. Can't wait for you to, guys to see how awesome the sages are in this game because it's going to be a tournament that Kyo and others were forced to participate in. All the characters that Verse revived have one goal in mind to revive the ultimate form of Orochi, the Hakeshu. The Hakeshu? Those from, okay, the Hakeshu, those from the past, and Nas, as well as Giz Howard. Uh, what? This sentence is not, is not, makes absolutely no sense. To revive ultimate form of Orochi, the Hakeshu, those from the past, and as well as Giz Howard, basically, I think these guys all want to, uh, revive Orochi. Um... Keith Howard obviously wanted... Okay, all the characters that version... Okay, um, do, 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 although all of them have different intention of helping Mizuki. Keith Howard obviously wanted to acquire the power of Orochi. Those from the past intended to control Orochi once revived, and Ness figured that Versus ability granted the ability to travel time and intended to revive Ignis. This is again seen in the manga. Only Hakeshu are the only ones who want to revive Orochi in reality. Haomaru, Nakururu, and Genjuro will appear in the story but be unplayable. It will just be revealed that Kyo, Iori, and Shizuru are descendants of them. Okay. Mizuki will also not be the final boss. I thought you said it's a new boss. She's unplayable. Alright. She will be able to revive the real Orochi and will be the final boss. Ooh, plot twist. Orochi's appearance is different. And it's kind of weird, like, it just feels like someone is making things as they go. It's like, well, the final boss, it's awesome. It's, it's you know, Mizuki. And then, well, guess what? No, it's not Mizuki. I changed my mind now. It's Orochi. All right. Shune will not be able to control his ability and release the other version of Verse. Mizuki and the Hakeshu will use this other verse to completely awaken Orochi using Mizuki itself. Mizuki is also controlling Gaidel. Aoi Kusanagi. Aoi. Angel and Rock Howard, who will turn evil at the end of the game. Each team will have a different mid-boss. All team will fight final boss Orochi. Upon the defeat of Orochi, Rugal will appear and steal Orochi's power. Oh my god, dude, just okay. <laughs> so it's not Mizuki. No, it's 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 Orochi. No, it's not. It's actually Rugal who will appear at the end and steal the power. Oh my god, this is this is this is insane. Kukri is connected to those from the past and heavily connected to Mokai. Some information about him will be revealed in this game. So the roster we have Shune, Meitenkun, and Ling Shangyi. Disciple, so at least in this roster we have new characters. Disciple of Tang Furu with the same ability. Kyo Kusanagi, Yori Shizuru making a team. Terry, Andy, and Joe, Ryo Robert, Yuri, Saishu, Jeff Bogard. All right. Well, at least this guy knows that Jeff da does appear in the ending of King of Fighters 14. Takuma Sakazaki, K Dash, Cool, and Maxima, Hayden, Whip, and Adelheid, Leona Hayden. I mean, Leona, Ralph and Clark, Kim, Luong, and Jun Hoon. All right. Athena, Kensun, Bao, Giz Howard, Billy, Hein, Nelson, Gran Aldo, a Mexican capoeira fighter, Valentine, a masked matador fighter, Ash, Elizabeth, and Kukri, Genitz, Gaidel, Yuji, and Mazaki. Now, this is a cool team if it's, if it's true, man. I would like to see how this guy looks. Rock, Blue Mary, and Alice, Zero, Chrysalid and Angel, Ramon is out due to being attacked by a corrupted Angel, Yashiro, Shirame and Chris, Mukai, Botan and Shroom, Mike King and Najd, Vanessa, Seth, Oswald, Chen Feng Chang, a perverted old mafia man who's supposedly the original boss of Chang and Choi during their crime days. He is a full-on tattoo and uses a G-Tech. He's small but got a long reach, really really cheap character, Chang, Kohan and Choi, Aoi Kusanagi, Kyo's cousin, and that seems like fan fiction. Aoi did appear in the King of Fighters Kyo PlayStation uh, 1 RPG game, as well as in some Chinese. Uh, she, she did appear in the manga King of Fighters Kyo, as well as some uh, Chinese manuas. So, Aoi, Benimaru, and Shingo are in the team. Lin, Duolon, and Shaolon. Ron will appear. Final boss, Orochi. Additional details King of Fighters 15 will be multi platform. PlayStation 4, 5, Xbox, Xbox Series, Nintendo Switch, Steam, and PC version with the PC version will take some time after the release. 
Now, I do believe that if it's on PC, it's going to be on the Epic Store for sure again. They, not, they don't mention that, so I don't know. DLC plans include Antonov, Mian, Sylvie, Bonnet, Janet, Da King, Raiden, Lee Pai Long, Ka Kane, Makoto, Kim Dong Wan, and Jae Hoon, Wan Ko San, Gai Tendo, and a new character called that is unnamed but is a baseball player similar to Shoma Sawamura as a representative of baseball all stars in all SNK games. Are all tentative, no models yet. Hope you are all excited. Thanks all and bye. All right. Okay. Uh, so, bunch of information, a lot of information, and as you know, I went through each one of them, and I wanted to do that in real time rather than just read everything and then you know go back to it. So you, you got you got the idea. I mean, this does sound you know some parts are believable and could happen, but some parts just just feel like someone making up shit and telling you at the same time like oh you know what the final boss is awesome it's Mizuki she looks awesome but no no she's not the final boss it's actually Orochi and then Rugal appears at the end I mean is he a boss or you mean just appears like a the you know like a, a post uh, you know post credit scene you know like like watching a Marvel movie or something but anyway just you know I think it's fun to go through these you know just with a giant grain of salt 90% uh, chance this is fake, still 10% could be real, we'll see. So according to them, the first teaser is going to be 30 seconds and it's going to happen next week on the 26th. We'll give it a shot and see what happens, right? So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section what, for you, of all these points that I mentioned, what gives it away that this is fake? Let me know in the comment section, let me know if you hope it's true and why you hope it's true. And until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you guys next time.